Now, um, what we'll do sometimes is we'll take these two terms, which deal with the, you know, uh, the section, which are, in, are unique to a given cross section, and say that that's the elastic section modulus, and uh, that's just what I over C, such that now what you can do is rewrite it and uh, take your moment, divide through by the elastic section modulus. So the, the section property we do use in bending is, is the elastic section modulus. And, and the reason why we do this is because in design, when you're trying to select a section, you don't know what I is, or you don't know what C is, but that ratio is unique to the cross section. So what we do is we solve for an S. And then it's only one variable that we're looking for. Therefore, you know, in design, what you have is you're, you're finding a required section modulus, and all you do is rearrange it and take your moment and divide through by your allowable bending stress. Okay, we do this in timber design. Okay? And then again, these values, those are section properties, and you, can, you see those in the steel manual, and you also see them in the timber design manual. Okay? And so we go through and pick out a cross section that has a, uh, a section modulus that is at least as large as the required value. Do that, we've got a valid design. Okay?